Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and if you're new, welcome uh, to this channel and I'm going to do a review on the House of Shadows by Monica Bodurski and um, this is her third uh, Lenormand deck and I fell in love with this when I saw it um, being used on YouTube by a reader. I think it's got humour and that's why it spoke to me. And I approached the author, Monica, and I said, may I do a review on your deck? Now, um, they can't, uh, you can't buy them here in Holland. So hopefully, um, um, Monica, I've Monica will be selling them or making them available in Holland and on, or in Europe. But if you would like to have a deck, then please order it from Monica herself. You can go to her website. I'll leave the information below in the description box with the IBSN number so that you can order your deck. Now, I've visited her um, website a few times and you can also catch Monica on Facebook and every deck that is being sold uh, will go to the Bat Foundation. I've received a Bat badge so I think that's really cute and you know we need to protect our environment and our animals in the environment and Monica is donating money to the Bat Foundation because the bats are very useful uh, for us and we need our bats um, because they attack um, insects like uh, mosquitoes. And she's also made the Shadowland Tarot and I hope to uh, review that shortly as well. And um, now uh, the the cards are more or less the same um, size as the old-fashioned Lenormand. They're slightly a little bit smaller, the old Lenormand, perhaps a half a centimetre. But it's black and white, and like I said, I love this because this lady's an artist and she's got a real sense of humour. And she also loves nature. <laughs> so, um, put it here and that's a cardboard box it's a very sturdy cardboard box as you can see um, it's stronger than the car, uh, playing cards uh, of other decks like just normally playing deck when you play rummy cup or whatever and um, it's a very simple book it has got a foreword by Arwen Lynch and she's also um, a, a tarot reader and an artist um, and you've got an introduction uh, about Monica Berinsky and she's thanking her family and friends and uh, she's dedicated this deck to her husband. And um, Monica is, uh, an, is an introduction by Monica herself. Then there is also a little bit about Monica. Monica Bodersky is a professional artist, author and educator. She has been reading tarot and oracle cards for 40 years. And the House of Shadows is her third Lenormand deck. When not creating art, she offers international art and spiritual uh, res residencies and teaches an intensive witch class. She is a founder of uh, the annual October festival Witches Fest North celebrating women, witchery and arts. So um, that is uh, could be awesome to go to if you want to go on holiday. I would love to be there. Um, as I've got friends that are witches here in Holland, so I hope they will be really going crazy about this deck. I'm going to work with a witch um, in, with another deck and do reviews because I would love to learn more about um, uh, the way of life. Uh, I call them pagans. Uh, pagans are people that are one with the earth and so are witches and they've been persecuted for so long. I don't like putting people in cabby holes as you know if you're a faithful follower and um, so I because I also lived in England and you've got the black witch and the white witch and I just 
I've been called a witch, so I see if I have to be a witch, then um, I'm the white witch. I'm a healer and um, I'm a lover of nature as well. And coming back to the deck, it's a simple book, but you get a little description of what the each card means. And there is a plus sign to this. Even if it is a small uh, booklet, um, it is basically the same um, meanings as uh, the normal Lenneman, but you also get extras. And um, I'll show you what I mean um, in a minute. And then you've you go back to the back of the book and it just goes on and on and you've also got information on how to co connect with uh, Monica um, if you have any feedback or wish to contact the author or artist please email okay and I'll leave the email address below as well and the website okay and here we go we'll go through the cards and we've got number one the rider well if you know the rider it's usually a man on a horse but this looks like um, a spider and somebody an other insect on top uh, of his back now i told you that um i would go into it and the rider means uh, you might be getting a visitor or um, you might be going to visit somebody or you might be getting news now um, the rider message messenger lover quickly fast and speed and this is the extra uh, bit of uh, interpretation that you get everybody every reader knows the basics of Lenormand but other readers also everybody sees something extra so for this card um, take notice something is arriving quickly whether a letter a package or a new love while we value things that arrive quickly and unexpectedly remember the speed can lead to mistakes if decisions are made in haste there may be a, um, a quirky message or unusual delivery method attached with this message the closer the rider card to the significator the quicker the news also note that surrounding cards to indicate the type of news that is quite true so if you uh, you can see also on these decks they're so simple and uh, you know you can make your imagination and your intuition really work with these cards because they're black and white and I've done photography so with black and white it goes deeper you see more things you're not distracted by color or other things and there again I love my other cards as well because they've got color but you know this is sharp um, uh, also I see shadow underneath here so be careful with this card I would say be careful on the shed be careful with the shadow side of the rider could be bad news so you do need other cards to signify what kind of news it is it is number one it could be a beginning news about a new beginning but let's carry on with the cards my darlings and here you can see what I mean by the Adams family it just looks like the daughter of the Adams family and this is the clover that means good luck and here you can see mon a money bag so there might be more money coming in I don't know if you can see it there you go it is on autofocus because I do not have uh, a fantastic camera and here we've got the ship so my excuses for that and this is your ship coming in number three you might be going on holiday you might be traveling well all of you that follow me you know by now what the meaning is of um, this is the house of the then a mum you can see the ghosts all around the house 
monster feet, chicken feet. I love it. I love it. I love it. Then we go to the tree and look at the tree. You've, you've got things hanging, skulls hanging in it. There is the devil, the little man with the devil mask. You've got the key hanging into in the tree. I'm just You've got money hanging in the tree, a clock hanging in the tree, just there. Um, I, the, the detail in these cards are ginormous. Then you've got the clouds and there's somebody walking underneath with the umbrella to protect. And the clouds have faces, like, like if they're crying, or scared. And then we have the snake. Somebody under, uh, sitting on a bench, thinking, oh, what can I do? Perhaps contemplating on who could be the snake or the bad thing. And then we've got the coffin. And if um, you've got a little lady reading a book and the coffin, I think it's beautiful. The, even the hinges on the coffin you can see. Now you've got a bouquet, somebody bringing, bringing you a gift, could be somebody from the past, and luck. The detail is it's simple, but it's ginormous, even, you know, you can, you can um, draw a devil, this is the scythe, so um, you, the horns, the teeth. And like I said, the black and white makes it really 3D type of thing. And then we've got the brooms. The brooms. Number 11. And they are numbered. So you can also use the cards <clears throat> with numeral. Even the cat's got a broom. <laughs> I think it's amazing. And the brooms um, usually is the whip and broom, but here, it, it like the extra message here, is spring cleaning, getting rid of old stuff. Then we've got the birds, and I think that's humorous. A bird with boots. Somebody left, flew the coop, you know, walked away. And somebody's just dangling there. I think it's really amazing. And then we've got the child. Yes, okay, it's a little bit lacabre, but I still think it's humorous. Because the um, Adams kids were like this. They were lacabre, and we all loved the Adams family. Um, then we've got the fox, and, and that I think that's amazing. Monica made a mask on the fox of a chicken. You know, somebody's not who he is. She's pulling a face from, oh, really? And then we've got the bear. And somebody is sitting on his back. Then we've got the star. Starry, starry nights. Right, sorry. There's things coming and it's starting to work again. When every time I'm with cards, we have cards, I have to feel, I feel like I have to shake them. And this is the stalk. And I like the way um, it's birth, right? And it's a, a man with a, like a doctor's case. So the doctor is coming to help with the birth. Could be a new house, moving home. That's also what the Lenormand card stalk means in a 360 degrees turnaround. 
Then we have the dog, and even the dog is wearing a mask. And you can see the dog is attached, the piece of string attached to his collar. Uh, yes, a friend. This means a loyal friend. I don't know Monica's meanings of the Lenaman. I'll have to get into the book and see. <clears throat> but I'd rather work with my own definition. And I like this tower as well. It's even got a flag on it. And a ghost. And we all know that in the Lenaman, the tower does mean different than in the tarot. And then we've got the garden. Reunion. I would like to be at the garden party. Okay, mountains. I like the way one mountain looks as if it's a monster. The eyes and then the mouth. You know, you, you, you've seen monsters on the road. I think that's really superbly done. You're seeing things that aren't there. You see? A crossroads. It's the devil, or rather Neptune, because it's got the fork of Neptune, but uh, this, um, the devil, supposed to be the devil, because you can see the tail there. And I think the mice are also really fantastic. And then you've got the heart. Your heart is where your home is. And all these stitches on the heart. Yes, we all have our ups and downs. And we stitch it back together again. But the home is where the heart is. And I think that's so magic. This lady's, and this is, uh, you know, amazing. And look at the ring. Two people holding on tight, sitting on top of the diamond. Isn't that lovely depicted? This lady's mind must be going round and round of thinking of new ideas and the images in her mind. She's really creative. She thinks really deeply. She's even included a title on the book. The House of Horror, I think it is. Bleak House by Charles Dickens. Amazing. And the letter, litter. And that's the same as the bats. So it's a picture. That's the letter bringing you news. And then we've got the man. He looks the, from the, the big, uh, on the Adams family, the boy, that fat boy. You know, you don't have to be handsome to be a man. And then we've got the woman. I think they're amazing. I love it, I love it. And then we've got the lily. And then we have the sun. And the moon. Now, I think that is really thought through as well. You've got the dark side of the moon, so it's like a mask. That's how she's interpreted, I think, if I can understand her. And you've got the light side of the moon. So, yes, it's awesome. Somebody's hanging on to something something and this is where it works with me if the mask has got a long nose so somebody's telling lies okay somebody's telling lies so you need more information that's the dark side of the moon that could mean that's what it could mean it's not only the lenman meaning uh, i've skipped the lenman meaning a bit um, i'm seeing my own things all right the key and with this, the key is the significator on this card, um, but also go, um, the ghost. Then I have to um, start, and then I start thinking or get messages. Don't listen to voices in your head. Don't listen to gossip. 
So lock yourself, lock that door to gossip and negativity. It's so simple, but it works over time with me. Uh, perhaps that's the Gemini. And then we've got the fish. And they're dressed in office clothes. Work clothes. You can work well in crowds. There you go. Luck in, luck in business and work. Okay, we've got the anchor. And we've got an octopus here. Ooh. What does this mean? Does it stimulate your brain, perhaps? The anchor. Coming home to a safe haven, that's the basic meaning. You've put your anchor down and perhaps somebody else, you, you like somebody else and you feel safe for somebody else, so you, they are holding on to you. They've helped you put down the anchor, okay? If you're, for example, if you're, your question was, will I get married? So you've got something to hold on to now. Perhaps it's you that's holding on to the anchor, on to the place. Then we've got the cross. And then <laughs> the cat is looking at her. I know you can't see because my camera is not sharp. But the cat is looking at her from what is she doing? And the mandrake, that is magic. Like I said, we've got the mandrake here. And the mandrake is a root. So um, this is something that I have to learn about the witches or healers. Um, the witches. The mandrake is magic. Trying to do something magical, like a ritual, a spell, or perhaps something paranormal. If you are uninterested in the mystical and firmly rooted in the mundane, this is a message to seek magic and adventure outside your normal daily routine. Take a walk with the powerful mandrake root of old witch lore and watch your life renew. So this card basically means renewal and come out of your comfort zone. It's a bit like the house, my interpretation of the house. Come out of your comfort zone. Change go for excitement, adventure, and it's 37. There's usually 36 um, cards in Lenamon, and this is what I mean. Everybody has their own interpretation, so there are extra cards in, the, in this deck, and I do like that. And then we've got the lantern. Well, the lantern reminds me of the hermit, and light, you're on the right path, follow the light. So I think that's beautifully interpreted as well in drawings. And I did print it out on uh, from Monica's uh, website. And that's why I'm going into this card a little bit more in depth. Because I've still got to learn the new meanings of these cards. I've been reading cards for 40, 45 years. And the lantern is seeking. The lantern will light your way when you are in the dark. This card shows up when the time is right to seek spiritual or esoterical enlightenment and all knowledge and knowledge that you are longing for. Often night time and dreams are where you will receive spiritual messages. A candle meditation may be called for. Sit with a candle to meditate on what is your tr what it is you truly want in life. Moving forward, this may this may is a time of transformation. This may be a time of transformation, and perhaps a pilgrimage. Perhaps you need to go somewhere to seek answers. Perhaps somewhere that is a sacred place where you can think as well. And sit and listen to your own new thoughts or contemplation, I would say, meditation. Okay, seeking. You've got the hand. I always say, if somebody starts arguing, 
talk to the hand to walk away. Now let's see what Monica's interpretation is of the hand. It's also trying to follow lines or read the palmistry, trying to get to knowledge. That's what I would let's see. And you can see a little spider there. It's really lovely. Okay, the hand. Destiny. There you are. Seeking your way. Uh, seeking answers. <clears throat> what is your destiny? Although we can exercise free will during our lives, there are many things that are believed to be predetermined and beyond our control. When this card appears, look to surrounding cards to determine what appears to be your fate as op opposed to what is in your control. Okay, so um, the hand, that's very nicely thought of. Um, if you've got something under control, you've got it in your hand, okay? If something is outside your control, you like time, it's the divine time, time is man-made, then see how to get it back. What is in your control, what is not in your control. And you've got this in the feminine sign here and the masculine sign. The moon, all star signs. And that's something that might um, evoke you to go deeper into astrology. Then we have um, the hand, uh, the puppet, uh, puppet. And perhaps somebody is pulling your strings. Or perhaps you are pulling somebody else's strings and you might feel tied up. That is without reading the instructions or the meaning of Monica, but that's how I would interpret it. And it's 40, so that will become a 4 if you're into numerology. Um, the puppet also means um, boundaries. Know your boundaries. This is according to Monica, feeling tied up. So... If not to get to tied up, then give your boundaries. When you see this card, how do you read it? Are you heroic or about to be a victim by a person who uses all of your time and is relentlessness, uh, or sorry, relentlessly crossing your boundaries even after you have made them clear? This is the time to define your space once and for all, and what you will or will not accept from now on. This puppet is saying, oh yeah, who holds the pins now? Ah, I thought it was a string. It's pins, so it's the voodoo doll. <laughs> and lovely. And then we have the ghost, and the ghost could be the voices in your head. It could be remembering people from the path, past. Let's see what Monica is saying for the ghost. Memories. How do you, how do your memories affect you? Whether you are nostalgic or haunted by past actions, you need to access the ghosts in your world. This card suggests that memories of the past are currently affecting how you see yourself in the world and maybe preventing you from moving forward. Unrestricted, living in the moment with gratitude is suggested. I think it's amazing. I love this deck, I really do. Ancestors, oh yes, we are all part of our ancestors. We do take things from our other lives with us. Ancestor legacy, that's a bit like the Eight of Pentacles. Ancestor legacy, now is the time to consider what it is you are leaving behind and evidence of your earth walk. It is your relationships, a book, your artwork, or assisting others. Look to inward and to surround surrounding cards in your spread to assess your legacy and work. 
relentlessly to achieve your chosen goals. So, what have you reached in your life and what are you leaving behind? People will, this cat is looking up to the ancestors. So there might be somebody else in your life looking up to you, what you do. That's my interpretation. I think this deck is amazing. I hope you've enjoyed the review on this deck. And my gratitude and thanks to Monica Bodursky uh, for sending me the deck. And I hope I've done you um, an, an honour. Well, I do. I feel an honour that I've, I'm allowed to do this. And I hope you will all rush out and get this deck. And you can use it um, at any time of the year, not just for Halloween. Have I, I can't put this deck down. That's the um, how it feels, and I'm looking forward to getting the Shadowland Tarot. And I'll be doing readings, so like either the Tarot as a clarification card or the Lenormand as a clarification card on the Tarot when I do my weeklies or monthlies or romance readings. I still think this could really work well as well with other decks, and even to pull a card for the day, and this is a deck like it it belongs to you straight away if it speaks to you it it's part of you you will grow you'll definitely grow even more uh attached to it i will it will be one of my top cards definitely so i hope um i've motivated you to go and order this deck and donate a dollar because you're buying this, you're also doing a favour to the bats. And thank you, Monica. And guys and girls, if you go to Monica's uh, website, you will also find little bags, not like, like this, but much prettier. Because it is silk and you've got a little bat on, your, on the bag. It's silk. But I, my sister gave me the crystal ball, so I'm putting my cards into this little bag back. Thank you very much and please share and like this review and take care. See you in the next video or in the life.